So I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's makeup tutorial, a collaboration with Trisha60. Her videos are so amazing, I absolutely love them. She's so natural in all of her videos and it's just so great to see. Um, basically, I'm going to do a tutorial with the Naked One palette and this is the tutorial that I did. It's a really, really nice, kind of goldy, smoky look and it's really nice for Valentine's Day, it's not too in your face. And she has done a lovely um, tutorial with the Naked Two palette. So I'm going to leave her video down below and also at the end of the video. Um, I actually don't talk about her much through the tutorial because I'm really trying to concentrate on kind of how to do my eyes. Um, so please make sure you go and check out her video anyway and please make sure you subscribe to her channel. So I hope you all enjoyed the video and let's get on to see how I did it. So as you can see I've already done one eye and I look kind of weird with one eye done and one eye not. Uh, so I'm just going to get straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to apply is the e.l.f. Um, eyelid primer. And this is really really good. I've been trying it out recently compared to the Urban Decay one and I am really liking it. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of that on my lid and then just rub it in. So after doing that I'm going to take Half Baked which is this gorgeous kind of goldy colour with my kind of really really big fluffy brush. And this is from um, Kirkland and it's just called the All Over Eye. So I'm just going to take kind of a normal amount on the brush and just sweep that all over my eye just for kind of like a gold wash of colour. Next I'm going to take Smog, which is this one here, and I absolutely love this colour, I've used it quite a lot, and um, I don't tend to use my own decay naked palette that much, but that colour I do use a lot, and I'm going to take it with my MAC 222 brush, now a lot of you know this is a fake MAC brush, I just got them in a set when I just started YouTube, and um, this brush is really really good and I like the shape, so I don't see the point in buying a new one, so I'm just going to dip that in, and then I'm going to start at the corner of my eye here, uh, kind of wiggle it in the corner of my eye and then start to bring it up into the crease. Now I kind of seem to do this movement with every single eye look that I do. I kind of just twist it, blend it out and make sure that kind of it creates a shadow above the crease. So I just carry on blending it out and you start to see a shadow develop here which I absolutely love and this is why I love this brush because it's like it's kind of domed and it's just amazing. As you can see, it's just made it much more smoky and just really, really nice. It's got more depth to the eye. Um, I'm then going to take my Crown um, Deluxe Crease Brush, which is a great blending brush, and it's about three pounds. And I'm just going to take that to my lid and I'm going to blend that out. Just like so. So now it's all blended out. It looks lovely. The next thing I'm then going to do is take the same brush um, but with Hustle which is this really nice dark deep kind of purpley colour and um, I really like the fact that sometimes with a Valentine's Day look it's really nice to incorporate some pinks and purples into there because you know that is the colour of that kind of that day. Um, so I'm going to take some on the brush and I'm literally going to start just here by the, by the uh, upper lash line, get my words out, and um, I'm just going to like bring that across a little bit. Just kind of smudge it at the top. And then I'm going to take a bit more and I'll take it into the crease. Just to kind of put a bit of purple into there and make it look really pretty. Again, take the trusty blending brush and blend that all out. And then with the same colour of Hustle, which is just this one here, as I said, I'm going to take a kind of angled brush, and this is the MAC 263, but obviously you can get angled brushes from anywhere, it doesn't have to be from MAC. And I'm just going to take a bit and dip it into the colour, and I'm going to bring that along the bottom lash line. And just kind of smoke that out a bit with my, again, my trusty blending brush. And that's it, kind of the majority of the eye and all of the eyeshadow. Um, so then I'm going to take my um, Collection 2000 Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner. And I'm just going to draw a really, really faint line across my upper lash line. Just because I really feel like an eyeliner makes such a difference to your eye. Even if it's the tiniest stroke on the top lash line, I just feel like I can't go without eyeliner. Just like that, it just really makes the eye just stand out a little bit more. I'm then going to take my eyelash curlers, and these ones are from e.l.f. 
and I'm just going to curl my lashes. I just kind of pump the curler a few times. And then I'm going to take one of my favourite mascaras, which is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes. And this is just in black. And I have quite long eyelashes as it is, um, so I don't really need to wear false eyelashes. But if you are fancy and wearing false eyelashes, especially Valentine's Day, because obviously it's a really exciting day, um, then make sure you do that because, you know, it does make, it make, does make your eyes look really, really girly and nice. And to be honest, I don't really know how to apply false eyelashes, so they'll probably look really bad anyway. So now I've got my mascara on, I'm just going to take the Rimmel Scandalize um, eyeliner in the colour 005 Nude. And as you can see on this, line, uh, on this eye, I've just put it in my waterline down here. I'm going to do that again, just to kind of brighten up the eye. And do they just make it look so much brighter? And then lastly, I haven't actually done this to the other eye either, I'm going to take the Rimmel Scandalize eyeshadow stick in the colour Bulletproof Beige. And I'm just going to put this in the inner corner of my eyes and it just kind of makes them really really bright and I really like the kind of effect it does in the middle so that is it for my eyes I think they look really really nice I think they look nice and smoky but not too like in your face and smoky if you know what I mean I think they look really really nice lastly I'm then going to take my 17 um, lipstick it's the, the thing, these are the Mirror Shine lipsticks in the colour Bell. Now, I think they've repackaged these, but um, this is a really nice colour, just for a nice, kind of natural look. And I think for Valentine's Day, you don't want to go too out there. Um, I think it's nice to look pretty and kind of cute, rather than kind of trying to look a bit sexy with red lips. I think it's better to go with kind of this colour. So... So it's just a really really nice colour, It just I think it just completes the look and it just gives a really really nice shine as well, it kind of looks like a lip gloss. So that is the finished look, I'll just take my hair down. Um, face wise I use my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation which I've really been liking, this is this one here. Then on um, my cheeks I use NARS Laguna Bronzer just uh, on my cheekbones and then I use the e.l.f. Baked Blush in the colour. Oh, it doesn't actually say, it says D28 on the back. I'm not really sure, but it's just this one here. It's kind of got, kind of, it's kind of a brownie colour with pink veining through it. It's really, really pretty, so I really recommend those. And then I just applied a bit of MAC Cream Colour Base in Hush, um, just along here to highlight my face. So thank you for watching guys, I really really appreciate it. Please make sure you go and check out Trisha's video um, of her makeup look which I'll link down below and also at the end of the video. Also please go and make sure you subscribe to her channel because she's absolutely great and I love all of her videos, they're just so so good. And I like the fact that it's just so mellow and like she doesn't, she's just so natural in her videos, it's just great. Um, so yeah, please go and subscribe to her, please subscribe to me and I will speak to you all soon. Bye guys!